If you're having wireless issues, there's a handful of things you can do to troubleshoot them yourself. I'm going to show you some of the things that you can do to try to fix a intermittent or flaky wireless connection from your computer. So the first thing you want to do anytime you have a wireless connection problem is to simply disconnect and just reconnect. Say for example, your wireless is connected one minute and then it drops and then it reconnects and then it drops again. Sometimes that can just simply be a matter of the connection that you have created in Windows. Now Windows just normally reconnects you automatically to that existing connection, but sometimes that connection is flaky. And all you have to do is simply click disconnect and then either let it reconnect automatically or manually click on the wireless connection again and let it reconnect. So the next thing you're going to want to do is remove these connections that you have previously stored that automatically connect. So what you want to do, just go to your wireless icon right here. You want to right click on it and go to open network and internet settings. What that's going to do is that's going to pull up all your network settings. Go over here to Wi-Fi and then click on manage known networks. Now, before you do this next step, it's very important that you know your wireless password. It's currently stored in your known network. So if you don't know your wireless password, get that first before you do this next step. And you can simply look at the bottom of your router. There's usually a sticker on there with your SSID and password. Just click on each one and click forget. Now you have no networks left that are saved. Close this window by clicking the X at the top and you go to your wireless connection here. So choose your network connection and then when you click connect it's now going to prompt you for that wireless password. Type your wireless password in, click next and go ahead and let it connect to the internet. Sometimes the connection is wonky because there's corruption in the driver software. Reinstalling the driver after this step generally will take care of it. So if you have the driver software that came with your wireless adapter, then you're okay. You do not need to do this next step. But if you do not have the driver software or the CD anymore, what you want to do is first is go to your device manager and look and see the name and model of your wireless. Down here in the search box, you can just type device manager. You're going to click on network adapters. There's a, the little arrow here next to network adapters. And as you can see here, I have a Netgear A6100 Wi-Fi adapter. What I'm doing is I'm downloading the driver because I'm going to remove the device and then reinstall the driver. The main reason you do this is because once you remove your wireless adapter, Windows will re-detect it. And as you'll see here in a little bit, sometimes you have to tell it to delete the driver and then try to reinstall it again. And if you do not have the driver already, you will not be able to get back on the internet without that software. So you go ahead and download the software first, just in case. So now I've safely got the driver. What I can do now, if the other things that I've just shown you aren't working, now in Device Manager, the next step is to right click on the device and just select Uninstall. Now, if you'll notice, this box right here, this says delete the driver software for this device. Leave that box unchecked the first time. Go ahead and click on uninstall. And now it's going to remove the wireless adapter. And then now you can see it's completely gone. Go up here to the top and click on action. Tell it to scan for hardware changes. And you'll see it is automatically going to reinstall that Netgear driver based on the driver that Windows already has loaded for it. And as you can see, it now detects my network connections, in which case you would want to click on one of them, connect, and see if your internet is any better. It is still not acting right. At this point, what you want to do is you want to go back to Device Manager. You want to right-click and uninstall. And this time, select delete the driver software for this device. So what you want to do is go back to that download that you had, the one that you just downloaded off the internet, double click the file to start the installation. I've got the driver reinstalled. Now I can go down here to the wireless network. And again, choose your network connection, type in your password, click next. It's now reconnected to my wireless network. Close that device manager, open your web browser, and just confirm that it, internet is working. If it is still constantly dropping and not staying connected, then it's entirely possible that you may have a hardware problem with the actual wireless adapter. You could pay somebody to replace your motherboard and spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars, or 
you could run down to your local Walmart and for about 30 bucks, pick you up a wireless adapter. They're about the size of a flash drive and you can literally plug it in, follow the steps to install it. And in about five minutes, you are up and running and you're basically replacing your built-in with a wireless adapter that actually plugs into your computer. For a lot of people who have laptops and they're built in, this is a very inexpensive way to fix a known wireless problem. And it doesn't cost you but 30 or 40 bucks and about 10 minutes of your time so if multiple people in the house are having the same problem then the problem is probably not your adapter the problem is most likely your actual wireless router what i would first recommend always is just restart the device most of the time that is going to take care of any connection problems if your problem is just on your computer focus on the wireless adapter if the problem is more than one person or more than one device staying connected, then your problem is most likely your router. A lot of times, like if you have Comcast, for example, or Bell South or uh, AT&T, if that is the case, contact your internet provider and tell them the device is flaky or is not providing consistent internet and you might be eligible for them to replace that device. It won't cost you anything. That's a handful of ways to troubleshoot a wonky wireless. So I hope this video helped you. If you find these tips useful, click on that subscribe button down at the bottom. That really helps my channel grow and helps me keep making more helpful videos for you.